Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a full face of drugstore slash affordable makeup. So this is the finished result. Yeah. Do you so, like it? <laughs> do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> if you want to see how we achieved it and what products we use, just keep on watching. <laughs> Put my hair up, don't I? Should I just put I always see people on? putting their like mini Mickey Mouse ears on from Disneyland, and I'm like, why don't I? Do I that? know. Why don't I have any? Do you have some? Yeah. Oh, I don't even have any. Oh, sure. I know. What an uncultured swine I am. <laughs> <laughs> so all morning I've been looking at new collars for Lola because I've just become like obsessed with it for some reason. Because really? I, I always buy her cat collars. And I found one, and it's got watermelons all over it, and I really want to get it. <laughs> wow, what does Ellis think about that? He was like, oh, right, okay. Oh, God, Zach would be like, no, no dog of mine will wear a watermelon collar. <laughs> well, she's wearing a lilac one at the moment, isn't she? So. That's true, yeah. I feel like as long as it's not glittery, he doesn't really care, so. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, right, should we start? Should we start? Yes. So i am just been shaking up my, my spray. It's really fun. Has yours got a little ball in it as well? Yeah, yeah, it sounds like, um, do you remember like in primary school you'd have tippets and you'd yeah. make that noise? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one's actually a dupe for the iconic London one. Oh, yeah. Because so, yeah. that's more of like a golden eagle, though, isn't it? This yeah. is more of like a, I guess this is more of like a silvery glow, but they didn't have, I would prefer a golden. Yeah. Glow. I mean, I won't lie, you do have to be careful with this and you do have to spray it from quite far away because otherwise you do have like glitter all over your face. Oh, God, but I don't yeah. know what the iconic London ones are like because I've never used it, so I yeah. don't know if it's the same. But yeah, it's still good. It's still good. I'm just gonna put some lip balm on. So I've literally just got a Hydro Nivea Hydro Care one. Literally just, and I've also put yeah. moisturizer on. This is the moisturizer I have used. It's just really not just very posh. It. It's just the Nivea Day Cream, and it's for combination skin because that is my skin that I've got right now. <laughs> <laughs> That is my skin. <laughs> oh my god. I sound like, um, have you seen Ozark yet? No. Uh, if anyone's watched Ozark, I sound like Ruth from Ozark. <laughs> but I can't talk about that with you because you've not watched it. I haven't watched it. Um, this watched is the lip balm I've used. That You can actually get this from Home Bargains at the moment. Yeah. £2.50 really? in Home Bargains. So this is technically drugstore as well because, yeah. And you can use it on like, loads of different things. You can use it on dry skin, on your... It says hair, probably wouldn't put it in my hair to be honest, but don't oh. really imagine how much you'd have to use like because of part. Literally, you just have like no, no, wouldn't put it in my hair, but it's really good for your lips. And it'd be really good, I feel like, if you had like um little dry patches and or whatever as well. Yeah. Definitely. And this is my moisturizer, but I'm not gonna talk about that because it's not drugstore, so <laughs> okay. let's put that away. I'm so gonna cool. start with my foundation, I think. I've actually got three yeah. because I like to like mix loads of them. My first one is my L'Oreal Tree Match, which I use all the time. One of my faves. Yeah. This is actually, I, I've i got a couple of things from Primark in here because I bought some stuff from makeup from Primark like before lockdown because I wanted to try a few bits. I actually really like this. Yeah, I love that. So love it's that. meant to be a dupe for double wear. Um, I wouldn't say it lasts as long as double wear, but for like five pounds, is it five pounds? Yeah, it's got a little price on there. It's actually really good. So, and my third one, which is probably gonna be a bit dark, but I might mix it in, is Maybelline Superstay because this is just oh, fabulous. Best. Best yeah. drugstore foundation, it's so good. It is so good. Full coverage and it's just amazing. Like yeah, if I'm going on a night out, I wear just that and it's just amazing. So, so good. Yeah. I'm gonna start with my brows. So we've mentioned this in so many of our videos, but I'm using the um collection Colour Lash All Day Wear Colour Mascara. Obviously it's not coloured, it's literally just a clear mascara. But it's so good for brows, isn't it? It makes them super it's crispy. <laughs> <laughs> so it literally just like sticks them in place. It's really, really good. So um I'm just gonna basically um, run that through my brows first. Lovely. I'm also just going to mention this because I'm not using it today, but it is really good. Is the Garnier BB cream? Um, mm. It's actually really good coverage for BB cream. I would say it's more like a light coverage foundation, um, and that's really nice. I get the combination to oily skin one, um, but yeah, I really recommend that as well if you want something a bit lighter. Oh, very nice. I tend to wear that like most days when I'm going to work or whatever, and then I'll just wear concealer over other areas I need it. So, yeah. yeah. Also very good. Highly recommend. I I always struggle to find like a BB cream that I like. Oh my god, that's literally the only one I've ever used that I like. To be honest, so many others are like really greasy or they yeah. don't actually have any coverage. Oh, 
I just feel like I've used so many and they've literally just been like a moisturiser and they've not really covered anything. Yeah, but I honestly, <laughs> for, for a BB cream, that's got really good coverage, I think, so. Oh, really? Okay, I might have to try that then. Yeah. The only issue with this Primark foundation is that it's just like a little tippy bottle and I always throw about half the bottle on to where I'm mixing it, so <laughs> not ideal, but... God, I forgot how good this brow, this uh, mascara is for your brows. Wow. Oh, so good. I was really due a new one. Like, mine was so run out. Um, <laughs> and I was literally just using all the bits at the bottom. But, oh my God, it's so good. So good, isn't it? Just mixing those two foundations, like some like little artiste on my highlighter palette. <sighs> some little artiste. Yeah, literally, I'm just like mixing my, <laughs> mixing my paints together. Have you seen that um, they're showing Australian Love Island? Are they? Mm-hmm, on ITV. Are they really? Yep, because we haven't obviously got one. Wow, that looks not. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Lovely. 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 Yeah, they're showing it on ITV because obviously we haven't got one to watch this year, so. Oh, God. I know. What, so is it the one from last year? Australia's one from last year? I don't actually know. I'm, I'm well, guessing... like they're recent. Because I guess their winter, no, their summer is our winter, so maybe it's from, like, late last year or something. Yeah, I bet you it probably is. Oh, my God, look at my face. Right, okay, so I'm just going in with the brow pencil. I've literally just got um, the Rimmel London Professional Eyebrow Pencil. It's literally just, like, a really basic one. And this is in the colour 002 Hazel. So I'm literally <laughs> just going to lightly go through and just, like, do sort of um, like hair stroke, whatever. <laughs> Lovely. Oh so Primark opens next week, doesn't it? Can't oh my wait. god, I'm so excited. Literally so, so is excited. it is it on Monday it opens? Yeah, I think so. As what far as I know. Oh my god. I'm just like the queues are gonna be massive, aren't they? Yeah, I guess it depends like how early you get there. Oh god, I literally look mental, like, I actually look mental. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. I might have put a bit too much foundation on, to be quite honest, but never mind. So, once I go in, actually, my brushes, well, oh my god, I look mad. I'm not even going to talk. <laughs> I look mental. I always, this is disgusting. It's actually clean. It's stained. Don't judge me. Don't this judge isn't me. drugstore. It's actually a beauty blender, but I personally don't think anything compares to the real beauty blender. So. See, I, I don't mind. That, like, I do. Obviously, it's really good, the real beauty blender, but I honestly think that the real techniques ones do. I, I actually like them better. Really? No. Yeah. I, I just can't get on with. I used the real techniques one for ages, and then I bought another one of the new, the actual beauty blender, and I just can't. I just don't think they compare, to be honest. Oh my god. Yeah, I think with Primark, um, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like people are either going to go straight away and it's going to be really busy or people are all going to have the same idea and going to be like, oh, no, I'll wait a couple of weeks until it's calmed down yes. a bit. So it might either be really busy to begin with or it might be quiet. I don't know. Yeah. To be fair, though, like, I don't really mind queuing for a little no, while. I, don't. Like, I, I, I haven't really got much better to do, to be fair. As long as it's not raining, I actually really don't care. No, I don't. And it's like... Um, do you know what it reminds me? It reminds me of when you're at like, a theme park and you're queuing for a ride. Exactly. <laughs> you're queuing for the Primark ride. But I feel like it's just more acceptable to be going there because obviously Primark's not essential. I feel like it's getting a bit yeah. more back to normal in the fact that you, you don't have to feel kind of bad for going yeah. to places and buying stuff that's not essential, if you know what I mean. Literally. Like, um, me and Mum went to Boots this morning to get a few of these makeup bits because I actually really needed some new makeup. And um, we were saying in the car, like, it's so nice to go out and not feel like you're, like, going to be arrested for going out for yeah, something that's not yeah, essential, so if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, because li I think it was only, like, a month ago that we went to, I think we went to a garden centre or something, and we were in the car, and I was like, oh, God, let's hope we don't drive past any police officers, and they, like, pull us over for going somewhere yeah, that's not that's essential. Thing, yeah. But, um, yeah... It's, it's I feel like everything feels a bit more normal now. A little bit it? more normal, yeah. I'm now using my. I'm still on my foundation. I'm now using the Revolution foundation stick, which I think I spoke about in a couple of videos before. Which I just use almost like a concealer with a little like mini stippling brush. This almost is like, and I just go over. Is that good then? Really, honestly, I really like it. I don't. I've used it all over my face like once or twice, and I personally, I, it goes quite greasy on me. Okay. If you had really dry skin, it might be quite nice all over. It's got such good coverage, and obviously because I'm using such a tiny little brush, yeah. um, I just you can kind of focus the 
coverage pretty well. I really like it. Okay, so now I'm going to carve out my brows. So I'm literally just using the e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealer. I love this so much. It's so much like the um, Tarte Shape Tape. Like, I need to get that. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Really, really like it. I liked Tarte Shape Tape, but I honestly just didn't see the height. I don't yeah, know, like, it was alright, but I think comparing it to, like, drugstore concealers, I just didn't, especially now that, um, like, cheaper brands have come out with concealers like this that are similar, um, yeah, yeah I just don't think it's, like, worth the hype and worth waiting ages for and paying what loads of it, delivery like for. Pounds, yeah, yeah. So I'm going in with my L'Oreal Tree Match Concealer. I use 1N. Um, this isn't like really full coverage, but because I've got quite a lot of coverage in my foundation today, I don't actually need very much concealer. So yeah. When I went to Boots, I actually intended to buy the, because you know the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, they do a concealer, don't they? Mm -hmm. I wanted to buy that and I really wanted to try it, but yeah. um, obviously they didn't have it. So. Of course. So I've been watching, um, I don't know if anyone else has as well, I literally last night, because I keep going to sleep at like 2.30am, I've been watching the um, Shane Dawson series with Jeffree Star. Have you seen it? Is it good? Oh, yeah, it's so, it. It, yeah, it's really good. You need to watch it? it. Yeah. You would recommend? Yeah, I literally like to watch like, um, I think it's like an hour. I think it's like really? an hour. Yeah, so it's, it's basically like you're watching a TV series. Like, yeah. they, at the beginning, they have, like, credits and everything. Oh, my God. Yeah, they, it's, like, really, really well done. It's like it, it's like you're watching, like, a proper series. It's so good. God, I'll have to give that a watch. Definitely. Right, this is my new powder. It's Collection Shirley's Powder, and I love it. Oh, do you? Really good, yeah. I actually got it on Amazon, like, on Prime, because I just really needed a new powder, and it had really good reviews. Oh. And I think I've seen... Um, Soph does, I think she's called Soph Does Life now, not Soph Does Nails, but yeah, I saw her reviewing like ages ago, and yeah, really, really like it, considering it was literally like three quid, really nice powder, so yeah. They're up in their game, aren't they? They've changed their, pa have you seen they've changed their packaging for like their concealer and their foundation? No, I haven't, no. Yeah, oh my god, it looks, it's so nice, it looks like a L'Oreal concealer or like a L'Oreal foundation. Really? But yeah, I've actually got this one, which I'm going to try today. So this is, they. this was on sale in Boots because I think, yes. obviously they've changed their packaging, so they're selling all of their old packaging, the old if you know what I mean. So that was three pounds in Boots because it was oh, on sale. Good. But yeah, they've changed all their packaging. It looks so nice. It looks really high end. Wow. I think they're trying to up their game a little bit. Yeah. But I do. I but do. I need to take some selfies for Instagram or something after this. Oh yeah, me too. I'm actually, actually going to have makeup on. Yeah. <laughs> for once in lockdown. Yeah. I'm going to make some Nutella banana bread after this. Oh. Yeah, See, really I really, really want to make banana bread, but we just never have any, like, um, bananas that are off, if you know what I mean. Well, we're never really we always do. I always buy them with all the intention of, like, eating them, and then we don't, and then... Really? Because uh, I, I would love to make some banana bread. Really would love to. I'm going to go in with foundation now. This, obviously, that I literally just spoke about, I'm going to use, but it's not my shade at all. It's too dark. So I'm going to go in with... Let me have a look what other foundations I've got to mix. I feel like I've got so many dark foundations at the moment, I haven't got any light ones. I might... I'm just getting the wipe and getting this foundation off my lips because it looks crusty AF. Yeah, I always do that, like, and then I look back at our videos and I'm like, I, I should have taken that yeah. foundation off my lips, it looks awful. Right, I'm gonna, um, so I'm gonna use the Last in Perfection Collection, what? The Collection Last in Perfection <laughs> Foundation. And then I'm gonna mix it with the Natural Collection um, Long Lasting Foundation, one of my other faves to mix in. I don't think I'd use it on its own, but yeah, to mix in, it's really good. Also, I am going to use a brush today. Usually, I'm all about the Beauty Blender, but I'm going to use this brush because I saw it in Boots and I was like, oh, I'm going to try it. So, it's the Eco Tools um, Wonder Cover Complexion Brush, um, and it's apparently heavy coverage, so we'll see. It's got 100,000 bristles in it. Wow, that's amazing. Isn't it? I've been using all of my makeup brushes that I think I spoke about in our vlog. Those ones from Amazon by the oh, Jessica yeah. brand. I literally love them. Honestly, Did recommend you? them to everyone. They are so good. I feel like I need to order those. Honestly, like 30 brushes for like £35. Yeah. Mental. But they're like, they're, and they're as good quality as like any of my other ones. So like my MAC brushes, my Morphe brushes. 
literally oh, yeah honestly you i literally cannot fault the quality of them at all they're so good and how much for them? 30 35.99 for 30 brushes i think wow yeah that is so good amazing literally so good so i'm now doing my brows and i'm using this is my other primark buy which i actually love these brow pencils they're really good so when we can all go back to Park on Monday, I highly recommend everyone gets one because they're amazing. And they're a pound, one pound fifty, one pound maybe. Um, yeah, they're called the Brow Sketch. And they're such a dupe of like the micro brow pencil. So like the NYX one, um, no, I can't think of any of Anastasia Beverly Hills do like a micro brow pencil, don't they? Yeah. Um, Benefit, literally, I feel like they're all just the same thing. Like, I really, really like this one. And I'm quite fussy with brow pencils because obviously I use them when I do HD brows on clients. Yeah. Um, and I really like it because it's not too soft. You know how with some brow pencils you go in on your brows and like you ha barely have to use any pressure and it's like, yeah. whoa. Yeah. But yeah, it's, re it's not like that at all. Really good. I like it. I feel like whenever I have freckles, whenever I've caught the sun on my face, my skin go like, I, I find it really difficult to cover my freckles in a sense that I feel like foundation just doesn't sit on it. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Weird. They just, yeah, foundation just doesn't like sit on top of my freckles. I don't know if it's just because it's a little bit drier or I don't know. Well, you look mental now as well. I know, I look absolutely <laughs> mental. <laughs> you literally look like what I did a minute ago. <laughs> you look you so look funny, don't you? On. It's so funny. It's like when you haven't got any, like, I don't know, when I haven't got any concealer on or put any contour or bronzer or anything, yeah. like, it just looks absolutely ridiculous, doesn't it? It's almost like before before you've powdered it as well, because I look, yeah. I, I don't look normal yet, but I look more normal than I did a minute ago. Definitely. I, like, oh I do quite like this foundation, but I just don't, I don't know. I'm not loving it? I'm not loving it, but I just, I don't know if it's the combination of that and the Natural Collections one. I'm just... Oh, yeah, because you mixed them, didn't you? Can you see? I think... It's difficult showing on camera because it looks really like bright, but I don't yeah. know. What's it looking like? What do you think? It's all right. It's just, I feel like it's separating a little bit. Oh, okay. Maybe it's where you mix them together or maybe it's just not like great. Yeah, I don't know. It is hard to know when you mix them, isn't it? Yeah, it's really hard to know. Because I like honestly can't remember them. the last time I just wore one foundation though. Like, oh, I okay, never do. Either. I never do. Like the thought of just opening the foundation bottle and it being yeah. the perfect colour and putting it on my yeah. face. Like how does that happen? How does that ever happen? Like how did we ever do that? I feel like I used to do that. Oh my god, yeah, all the time. But now I mix like, everything. Even if I think something might be the right shade, I'm like, oh, do you know what? Yes. <laughs> do you know what? Let's have a look what it's like next. It's like that. Um. Oh, who's that man? Oh, is it when he's like, let me add a little bit of spice to that? Oh, yeah. What's that from? Oh. Let me add a little bit of spice. What's that man? You know the one we were talking about the other week? What's his name? And he's got his son and his name's something new, Junior. His son has literally oh. got the same name as him. Just, but he's... Yeah, the boxer. The yeah, boxer. yeah, yeah. What's his name? Chris, Chris Eubank. Chris Eubank, Eubank yeah. yeah. I keep seeing it on TikTok and it's like, let me add a little bit of spice to that. That's actually me with my foundation. I'm like, yeah, let me add, let me add some spice yeah, to that. Spice. So do you know what? Because I'm not a massive fan of that. I'm just going to go in with the CYO. I love this foundation. You can get this at Superdrug. Don't... Oh, no, you can get this at Boots. You can get this at Boots. Don't know if they do it at Superdrug, but you can definitely get it no, at Boots. No, I don't think they do do it at Superdrug. So this is a CYO Long Lasting Life Proof Foundation in the shade... I don't know, because it doesn't say. It's really nice. It goes on really well. I don't know why I didn't just use that in the first place. But yeah, just... why didn't you do that? Well, I was going to use it, and then I saw that that was on sale in Boots, and I was like, do you know what? I'm going to try that. I'll see what it's like, because I really like the long, the Last Imperfection Concealer. So I was like, oh, if it's, <laughs> yeah. like, if it's like the concealer, then it'll be really nice, but it's not. It wasn't. <laughs> it's not. So I might give that like to my well, mum. She might like that. Exactly. Exactly. So my brows are done. I did just go through with them with the same brow gel that you used, but mine looks minging. So I promise I haven't had this for a hundred years. It's actually not very old, but it's just got foundation mixed into it. <laughs> That's why it looks vile. So yeah. Yeah, I've got my old one here. Look minging isn't it right that'll do for my foundation i feel like i've stippled my face to the ground yeah you've like, got like 10 foundations on your face now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god do you remember that thing that people used to do it was like the hundred foundation oh layers, god and it'd be like crusty right i'm now going on to eyeliner and i am using the rimmel scandalize liner it's like a little pen like this these are the only one that i like um on myself so yeah on clients, I use like gel liner, but I just only like the pen ones. Also, another really good um, drugstore. Oh, it's right on the floor. 
liquid liner is the L'Oreal one. It's like L'Oreal Super Liner, is it? That's really good. Oh, Very good as well. Okay. Yes. But I just have this one at the moment. Okay, so I'm just, I've am just i just gone in with my e.l.f. concealer again underneath my eyes. Um, as you can see, it is really high coverage as I'm sort of blending it out. I probably shouldn't have used the same brush. I probably should have used the Beauty Blender, but oh well. I've gone in with the same brush and it's blending out really nicely. When I was watching our other video the other day back, yeah. the one where we were doing the styling, I need to stop saying, so yeah, because I literally wanted to punch myself in the face. So yeah. Honestly, Ellis was like, why do you keep saying that? And I was like, I don't know. Really? Yeah. I haven't noticed. And I'm, I edit the videos and I haven't even noticed. Oh no, I kept saying it all the time. I think I always say, okay, so. Yeah. I good. Hey, so. I always say at work when I'm speaking to, um, this isn't my other job, not my like self-employed job. Um, I always say, all right to clients like i'm always like so i'll do that for you all right and then i'm like all right all right and everyone who works with me is like easy i can't stop right. saying all right now because you say it all the time and i'm like Sorry. oh my god so i'm gonna use would you consider the uh beauty bakery flowers drugstore because you can get it at boot so it's, yeah, quite, it's quite expensive, it's quite expensive. It? i would say it's like high-end drugstore yeah it's i think it's like 20 quid or 22 pounds or something like that but it's it's a really good uh powder we've talked about it in other videos if you have seen our videos before i used to be the queen of winged liner honestly i was the queen and i just let myself go to be honest just wear it every day i just couldn't be bothered anymore i think when i stopped working on makeup counters i just couldn't be bothered <laughs> yeah literally i think because i had to wear it when i worked um on a makeup counter i had to so it was then i just kind of like lost enthusiasm for it because i didn't want to have to wear it anymore but yeah i'm i'm enjoying it again now i also do brown liner quite a lot i haven't worn black yeah i want to try that i want to try brown liner i always just do it with a brown eyeshadow i love it Aww. but maybe i can also do a brown gel liner which i want to get as well oh do they maybelline gel liner is the best ever I've never used that gel liner. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's so good. I'm just using this uh, Makeup Obsession Be In Love With palette. I saw this in Boots and I was like, right, I'm going to try it because I need a new palette. I've always used Revolution palettes because I just love Is them. Is Makeup Obsession the same company as Revolution? Oh, I don't know. Is it? I think it is. Let me look on my laptop that I've got in front oh, of me. Oh yeah, do a bit of research. Makeup Obsession, yep, it's the same brand. Oh my god. Yes. There you go then. Didn't Told you. Learn something new every day. Yeah. I'm just going in with the shade Soulmate and Beloved um, mixed in together. Right, I am now I am now going in with the Collection Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. I used to use Ooh, this all the time. Oh, lovely. You need some that's more than Yeah, you do. Right, while you're doing that, I'm going to move on to bronzer. So I am using, this is, well you can't get this from Boots or Superdrug, but you can get it from Beauty Bay and it was only about £4 I want to say. This is the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer and I got it in Golden Gal because I am a Golden Gal, so. <laughs> <laughs> I bloody love BH Cosmetics. So good, it's such a nice bronzer. Like I actually, now I wear fake tan like all the time, I probably could have got a darker shade. I bought this like before I was obsessed with fake tan, so. I probably couldn't get a darker colour now, but it's fine. I can still make it work. Look at that, golden. You're a golden gal. Yeah. I am going to show you the blush I'm going to use. Um, I mean, it's in quite a state because the lid has fallen off. Um, it's actually not that old, but it looks like 100 years old because it's got loads of dents in it. Maybe you can't really see, actually. It's a Kiko blush um, in colour Smart, I think. But yeah, it's really nice. It's not really, really pinky, so yeah, I quite like it. So I, I'm not really fussed about getting an expensive mascara because, I don't know, I just think my lashes look rubbish anyway. So And when I, we go out of lockdown, I'll probably go back to wearing lash extensions. So I've literally just got a Natural Collections length mascara, and it's actually not bad. Like It's, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Can you see that, Mike? <laughs> well, see, I have got like my ride or die like drugstore mascara. Yours? Huh? What is yours? Mine is the Max Factor 2000 Calorie Waterproof. I literally love it. It makes That's my lashes, nice. it actually makes my lashes look fab. Like the best that is mascaras it? ever have. Yeah, I'll show you in a minute. Why have you not told me about this? I don't know. I didn't know you had a mascara issue, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. I just, 
I've never been like bothered about mascara as much, but yeah, this is actually. Yeah, I feel like it's when you have lash extensions or you wear strip lashes a lot, it's kind of like you just need it to kind of just make your lashes yeah. black. Yeah, exactly. I've heard that the L'Oreal te Telescopic Mascara, I don't know if they do that still, but I've heard that's really good. Yeah, I think they do still do it. Yeah, I, I know loads of people like that one, don't they? But I've yeah. never actually tried it. I'm yeah, quite specific I... about the br like ones I like. Are you? Mm. I only like bristly ones, I don't like plastic ones. Oh, interesting. I know. Fun facts with Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. If you ever, uh, if we ever do like a um, challenge where we have to know facts about each other, at least I'll know that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Here, here's the million dollar question: <laughs> Do I prefer <laughs> bristly or plastic mascara ones? <laughs> um. Okay. So I'm using the sleek. The name's rubbed off of it because it just has. Don't really have a reason. Um. <laughs> Highlight palette in Solstice. This used to be like such a thing with people on YouTube, I feel like. Um, yeah. I literally never used the purple one and I never used the cream one, but I kind of no. mix these two together. But it's actually really good. I'm using this contour palette by Collection. I feel like I'm sponsored by Collection right now. Yeah, you look like, I went there and I was like, wow, all of this is so good, like well priced. But I've literally just, it's literally just a contour palette and it's got a brownie shade on one side for your contour and then it's got a highlight on the other side so let's try this this is first impressions right now i always apply my highlight on my cheeks with a beauty blender now in case anyone wondered oh i never use a brush anymore I find it looks a lot more natural and like blends into your skin a little bit better i have to say that that um moisturizer and highlighter thing we did i love that really see i haven't done that since i think i kind of forgot about it yeah i love it i've been doing it <laughs> Now I'm just going to go in my inner corner with the same highlighter just to brighten that up. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. So I'm now using my mascara, which I was talking about earlier. Um, and this is what the wand looks like. This is my preferred wand, in case anyone cared. <laughs> This is my preferred It's one. quite skinny and bristly, not plastic. So yeah, I'm now ready. I also curl my lashes. These aren't drugstore, these are Bobbi Brown. But my lashes are straight AF if I don't curl them. So that's why I have to curl them. <laughs> Do you not curl your lashes? Um, Sometimes, but I'm wearing lash... I'm wearing... What are they called? Strip lashes. Yeah, so yeah. I can't... I can never put strip lashes over my curled lashes. Actually, yeah, that's true. I don't know whether I do want to curl mine, actually, because I'm going to put strip lashes on as well. Yeah. Actually, yeah. scrap that. <laughs> scrap that. Yeah. Okay, so that's now, can you see, the moisturiser is blended in with the highlighter, so that's looking quite nice. It's quite a pinky highlighter, and I wouldn't usually go for a pinky highlighter, but let's let's try it. Let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. Yeah, I've kind of forgotten about that hack, to be honest. Yeah. I don't really know why, because that was actually really good. I mean, it definitely doesn't work as well as it did with my... Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter, but there is a real price difference. <laughs> yeah, you can't really complain, can you? No. These are the lashes I'm going to wear. So, um, these aren't technically drugstore because they're not from Boots or Superdrug. They're actually tatty lashes, but big tip, if you buy over, like, I think it's 20 pairs, you get instant MUA discount. You don't have to, like, prove you're a makeup artist or anything. Um, you get, like, 60-70% off. So, yeah, I think you can get, they're normally, like, they range, like, they have different ranges, but I think they range between maybe, like, 7 to £10 pounds per pair. Which, I mean, isn't really expensive, but then when you have the discount on top, they're literally, like, £4 pounds a pair. That's so. ridiculous, and that's such, like, a discount. Yeah, I mean, it's, they're not actually, like, compared to some lashes, some lashes are, like, 20 quid a pair, so they're yeah. not actually that expensive anyway, but... I'm using, I can't remember what these freaking lashes are called, to be honest. I think they're Land of Lashes, is that, does that sound familiar? Yeah, I think so, yeah, um, I recognise Yeah, that. these are Land of Lashes, um, and I'll put them on in a sec so you can see, but th I think they were, like, £5 pounds off a pretty little thing, so technically mine aren't drugstore either, but we thought we would also share some of our fave it's kind brand. of drugstore slash affordable makeup isn't it yeah it doesn't, exactly. it doesn't yeah. necessarily have to be like yeah. boots or super drug does it because no, exactly. i feel like there's That's a lot cool. of places that you can get really good stuff from now that isn't necessarily boots or super drug so right yeah and especially online as well yeah yeah probably but, i think do loads of beauty stuff now don't they yeah they do they do like they do like fake tan and everything yeah but i would say like my fave uh, like lash brand i guess to get uh, from Boots or Superdrug. I love Ardell. They do really nice ones. And you said about Kiss lashes, didn't you? I've Kiss lashes been... are lovely. They have a mother. Yeah, they have a style called Lily, um, and they are honestly one of my faves if I ever need to get Ooh. lashes from Boots. Obviously, I always have tatty lashes now, so I haven't had them in ages, but I feel like they're quite similar to this style, so you probably really can't see that. 
I'll show you as well. There you go. They're kind of like clumps, oh, yeah. like that. Clumps. It's not a very nice word to use, really, is it? But cool, you went straight in without waiting for the glue, you lunatic. Yeah. Oh no, I did wait a little bit, but they, I'm using the HD Brows glue. Oh, okay. But, and it's so good. I literally am obsessed with it. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not using that one. I'm, I was using Duo. Which I feel like it dries to dry. Like it gets sappy really quickly. Yes, you do. Well, I'm literally waiting here for like half an hour. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put this on the other eye now. Silence in the room. Literally, fair of lashes. It's a stressful oh. business. Here we go. Beautiful. Love the okay, and then I guess my last thing that I need to do is my lips. So I've got the, I'm literally obsessed with NYX lip products. So I've got the NYX professional, why did I, I was about to say the NYX professional makeup. I was about to say the whole bloody thing. <laughs> I've got the NYX suede matte lip liner in the shade Sandstorm. This is like my favourite ever, ever, ever. Um, and I've got that too. I, um, I've got London. Oh, have you? London, London's really nice as well. London's yeah. very nice. Um, but last, the last one I had of this is literally like tiny because I'd used it so much and I've actually treated myself to a new one. Probably one of my favourites that I can never get because it's always sold out. It's that one that you have, I think it's called Munchies. Yeah. That was literally so nice. We used that in one of our first YouTube videos. We both used it. Yeah. And I, I've never used it before because it just... On the website, it doesn't look like a colour I'd like. No, it's quite dark. It's like, it, I think it's, it's quite really, ashy. Really cool tone. Yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't think I'd like that, but I actually really do because it, you can overline your lips really nicely yeah. without it looking like you've overlined them almost. Definitely. Just waiting for my second lash to go tacky. This one looks a bit dodgy, but maybe it's just because I haven't got them both on. I swear I have stuck that down nicely. <laughs> I swear. Okay, so my battery camera just died, but all I have done is literally put on this. Where is it gone? Where's the MUA gone? Oh, here it is. We've literally, just been sitting here waiting, really, haven't we? Yeah, we've been waiting. And that, I've literally just put this MUA Pro Base bronzer on, and that's it. And I've put a little bit more eyeshadow on, but yeah. I have just put my other lash on, so I have literally haven't done anything. I'm now going to do my lips. I've just turned the brightness down on my ring light, and I maybe think that it should have been turned yeah, down a while ago. I I wonder but if my mind. things have been brightened, but never mind. Right. Exactly. I'm going to use this Barry M lip liner. I literally do not know what colour this is because I swear it doesn't have a colour on it. But it's like their brown. I think they've only got one in this sort of colour. It's like a brownie nude, obviously. Sort of obviously. And I'm using, again, the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. So this would go really well with, obviously, Izzy said that she has the NYX lip liner in London. So they do uh, the do. lip liner and the lip cream in the same colour if you wanted to match them. Yeah, I would. I also have that one out, but I, I kind of go between these two, to be honest. Yeah. This um, lip cream is so nice because it's not, like, really mattifying. So it's not, I like, it, it doesn't make your um, lips, like, super, super dry. So it actually just feels like a cream on your lip, but it dries down really nicely. So I'm going to wait for that to dry before I put a bit of lip gloss on. Honestly, this lip liner isn't as, like, brownie as I thought it would be. But I think it's because I've recently been wearing MAC Oak. So I've been so used to having, like, a dark brownie sort of lip. And now I've gone back to this. And it's more of, like, a pinky, pink, pinky nude. But I do still like yeah. it. Right, I've just done my lip liner. And I always kind of do, like, the whole, like, lip contouring thing as well. Because I'm just a bit, a bit extra like that. You are also a beauty hat queen. Of course. I'm now using, this is actually one of my fave drugstore lipsticks. This is, wow, it's a bit dirty around there. Sorry about that. Um, this is Maybelline Colour Sensational Matte Lipstick in 930. And it's a really nice, I actually would compare it to MAC Yash. It's a very similar colour to that. And it's really nice. nice. It smells really nice. It's quite a comfortable matte as well. It's not really drying. So I really like it. Oh, that's nice. Mm, Wait, what, what, what brand is that? Maybelline. Oh my god, that's lush. Here yeah, look. Wow, love that. Really nice, isn't it? Really nice. Okay, so I'm just going to go over again with NYX because apparently I spo I'm sponsored by NYX and Collection right now. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go in with the NYX um, Butter Gloss. I haven't used this before, but I saw on someone else's video that they used it and they said it was really nice. So this is oh in the shade. Gosh. Have you not used those no. before? No. Never. Oh my god, they're so good. Really? I, I, I yeah, like, so I never used, I didn't even know they did a gloss, but I was like, wow. And it's what like, what colour did you get? I got Madeline. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. 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 So good. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try it. I'm 
I'm using, just so we can do our lip gloss at the same time, I'm using an, an e.l.f. lip gloss, which I love. It's actually a plumping one, but it's not one of those really painful plumping ones. <laughs> and it's like, I don't actually know what colour this is in. Oh, Champagne Glam. So I love this. Oh yeah, this is nice. They're so nice, aren't they? Such nice consistency. Really nice. I love that. Oh, it tastes good as well. I feel like I could just like gnaw on this. Like a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> like a beaver. So, what would you um, say is your favourite? Oh, oh yeah! I forgot about the sex break. Crazy cat! Oh my! You call your crazy cat? Yeah. I've got about the tippet. I'm using the Glow Revolution Prime Set Glow Spray by Makeup Revolution. You'll be surprised to know. I'm using the Makeup Obsession Lightning Glow Illuminating Fixing Spray. Which is literally the same brand, so they're probably the same yeah, thing. Yeah, very true. <laughs> very true. Right, I'm, I have a feeling this is going to make my bed all glittery. Oh well. Yeah. You do, like I said, have, oh wow, got a big, big chunky there, big chunky on my face. Look at that, you do have to be a bit careful. Oh yeah. Yes. Let me get my little brush and blend that in. Oh god, yeah, glittery glitter. And oh, first I feel like I haven't That's... used it in a little while, so I think some of it, it kind of settled in the little spray thing, so. No. Oh, I'm a fan of this. Mmm. They're good, aren't they? Really nice. Let me see. You, you found some new faves though. I have, yeah. Let me darken this. I don't know first impressions, but yours were. Oh, I think I've got a little visitor at the door. <gasps> Is it Lola Bear? No. <gasps> it's Lola Bear! <laughs> She's crawling because she's excited. <laughs> you sound like you're talking it's... about a baby. Who's this <gasps> Lola! Hi! We're done! With our full faces of drugstore cheap affordable well affordable makeup we'll go with that um i would say my faves are what would i say my faves are i didn't like the foundation so i don't know whether i'd recommend that i love my elf camo concealer really really like that um obviously our we both love the collection clear lash mascara um, yeah. And I also really, really like this um, setting spray. So I'm glad that I got that because it's very nice. I can feel, when I put it on, I could feel it like setting my foundation. I don't know if that that's sounds really weird, good. but I could just feel it all like locking in place a little bit. That's what you I want a setting spray to do. Exactly. Yeah. So they're my faves. <laughs> what are your faves? Um, well, I mean, I obviously, mine weren't first impressions, weren't they really? But yeah. and probably my favourite things out of what I've used is I really do like, obviously I mix the foundations, but I do think that Primark foundation is so good for the price. Yeah. The brow pencil and the mascara is like my all-time favourite mascara. I will literally yeah. never use, I'd never even use a high-end one instead of that one because I love it. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Probably my faves. So, um, yeah, we hope you enjoyed this video and please, if you haven't already, please subscribe to us. Uh, please like this video and comment below any, comment. yeah, give us a comment of anything you would like to see from us in the future or if you just want to show us a bit of love. We'll see you in a couple of days for our next video. Yes. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. There's not much to do when all I